Hey, bonjour tout le monde, hi everyone, welcome back on my channel, it's me Max and if you are new here, I'm a Eurovision director from France and 25 years old and today I continue my series of videos about rewatching Eurovision 2023 and today I choose a country which finished at the 13th place in the official ranking with Croatia and their song Mama Sure with the <laughs> group Let Free. Uh, there is a lot to say about this country this year. I'm gonna give you my opinion about their last performance during the grand final, but also my opinion about the war journey of Croatia, why uh, we are rewatching the ultimate performance of Let Free at Eurovision 2023. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my social networks, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And now, stop talking and let's go rewatching. Okay, let's go Croatia. You're gonna see my opinion change a little bit, maybe. <laughs> Woo! So they were like, oof, so 25 countries to, to go during the grand final of Fusion. I think it's a good place to, to help you to be. Okay, so the thing about the song is that there is a lot of interesting and quite intelligent point of view about a lot of political situation, but not just political. Sure. And the first time I listen it, when I see the national selection of Croatia, the Dora national selection, I was really distracted, I was really confused about this, and I, of course, didn't understand what they were singing, because it's in Croatian. And I love that a country uh, sing in their own language. This is always better, I think. More, I don't know how to describe it, more sincere, and I love that. But when I heard this part of the song, I was like, wow, this is so crazy. It looked a bit like Bohemian Rhapsody at some part. I'm like, wow, it's going in a lot of way. But then we have this part of the song just after that. Oh, Nancy, Copat which make me more enjoy the song, first of all. But it was more easy to like it. I really like also that during the grand final how the public and the arena really love it and embrace the song and the craziness also. Mama, this thing. I love that, love the animation also. So of course it's not a song I'm listening, to be honest. I'm still not a big fan of Croatia. But I understand why they are going really viral and quite successful all around Europe. And it was a good fun moment. I cannot recognize it, it was fun. And I like it. With still a serious message behind it. I recommend you to check in the comment section. Uh, sometimes there is some people and some of you which are explaining all the reference about the song. This is really cool for that, to doing that, guys. Thank you. Completely crazy, completely... <laughs> out of this night and try and, and quite different, you know, uh, uh, compared to all other countries. So that's why they were really high with the public. The number of televotes points they got, also really impressive. Congratulations, Croatia! You surprised me in a good or in a bad way. The pet of you. <laughs> okay, guys. So the thing about Croatia uh, that I'm quite happy for them for being back first of all in the grand final and to be and to do so well with the televote. Uh, of course, it was and it looks like a fun entry. Even again, if I'm repeating that, if that there is a serious subject behind it, which is quite interesting to explore and I recommend you to check the comments. I think some of you are gonna uh, give me again some reference about the song. This is always cool to see that. Thanks for doing that. And yeah, this is diff different. And first of all, uh, I felt that a lot of people will hate it. That was the first thing I thought. Uh, but the, the thing is that it makes us kind of lost at the beginning of the song, but then you can enjoy the more fun and pop part about the song and the tractor and this, this sounds, it's working, it's working with an international audience and it was quite intelligent to do that. So I recognize some quality about the song, I recognize some fun aspect that is really successful with the public and I totally understand why they were really high with the televote and it wasn't a surprise for me that the jury uh, thought this song was 
at the bottom and that the Televote Fault Vison wasn't more in the in the top 10, you know, performance. So no surprise about the points. I'm really happy that Squisha finished at this place. I think it's a good one. Uh, it doesn't that divide a lot of people, so it just show that when you finish at this 13th place, you are really divided about it. And yes, you could be proud. I think Croatia could be really proud of them. And I can't wait to see what Croatia is gonna bring next year because it was really interesting this year. What do you think? Tell me everything in the comment section about the last performance of Croatia and the world journey of the country at Eurovision Song Contest. Uh, thanks for watching. I will see you really soon for a new reaction video. Bye bye, au revoir. See you soon. A bientôt.